Welcome to Dr. Jörn Günther Rare Books. My name is Dr. Erin Donovan, and today I have the privilege to show you a work that is simply put a masterpiece. The De Croix Hours is a manuscript in dazzling condition with 69 miniatures. Its beauty is nearly inconceivable. Painted by the three greatest Parisian illuminators of their time, the De Croix Hours is an exceptional treat to offer to our clients. This manuscript is an example of a very popular type of prayer book, a book of hours. These books were used in the private homes of lay people who were for the most part noble and extremely wealthy. They are called books of hours because they provide prayers to be recited every three hours, eight times a day. This particular manuscript is a superlative example of a book of hours. When you have it in your hands, you are overwhelmed by its beauty. It was painted between 1425 and 1450 in a collaboration between the three top artists in Paris at that time. The first is the master of the Harvard Hannibal, who was an artist who worked with the famous Bedford and Boussico masters and was familiar with the work of the Limburg brothers. He painted 12 miniatures. The second is the master of the Munich Golden Legend, who painted 24 miniatures in this book and who worked with the Bedford master on many projects. The third, the Dunois master, is known as the successor to the Bedford master and is thought perhaps to be his son. He painted an impressive 33 miniatures in this manuscript. More importantly for the next owner of this manuscript, it is stunning. The masterful artist's collaboration leaves us with a masterwork of illumination. Note the powerful use of color and the careful details applied to costume, textiles, and ornamentation. Take, for example, this gorgeous image of Saint Martin, who cuts his ermine cape in half to give to a beggar. The artist delights in the richness of Martin's costume, like his golden feathered headdress and his ermine cape ornamented in gold. He is set in a space hung generously with lapis blue and gold detailed tapestries. The artists did not stop their masterful decoration with their lush illustrations. They also decorated the margins of every single text page in the manuscript with intricate floral borders made of burnished gold ivy and boasting thousands of delicate, colorful flowers. An extremely intriguing element of this manuscript's decoration is the appearance of the royal coat of arms of the French king. Golden fleur-de-lis on blue, six times. We find this detail in an image of Saint Mark, who is dressed in beautiful orange, rose, and blue all detailed in glittering shell gold. Above him, the supporting beams of the chamber proudly display the French fleur-de-lis. Why do we find the French royal coat of arms within this book? Their presence suggests a special occasion for the commission of this exquisite manuscript. Was it made upon the celebration of the Treaty of Arras in 1435, which ended a civil war and elevated Charles VII as the rightful King of France? Who could have had this manuscript made? To give us some clues, we know that the prayers in the book are given in the Latin male form. Also, the name Jean seems to be important because there is a visual repetition of holy figures named Jean, including Jean the Evangelist and Jean the Baptist. These clues imply that the book was made for a man named Jean who had some connection with the French royal family. Who could he have been? 
we have two different possibilities. Jean of Dunois was the illegitimate but well-respected son of the Duke of Orléans, making him the first cousin to the King of France. His service in the Hundred Years' War enabled Charles VII's elevation as the King of France. The De Croix Hours contains a 19th century frontispiece which states that the book belonged to Isabeau of Croix, Jean of Croix's daughter. Perhaps this later frontispiece copies a lost original. This crown jewel of the art of illumination captivates all who have the good fortune to gaze upon its pages. Has it tempted you? Please contact Dr. Jürgen Günther Rare Books to learn how your collection might be the next to treasure this masterpiece.